How to knit the tubular bind off. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles, a darning needle, and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Superwash Merino Cashmere in the color Slate. The tubular bind off is an invisible bind off and it works seamlessly with one by one ribbing. Um, and it uh, creates this really nice rolled edge, um, which is uh, great for finishing uh, sweaters or socks. It allows your edge to be nice and stretchy uh, and doesn't hold it too tight uh, like some other bind offs can. Uh, it's also sometimes referred to as the Kitchener rib bind off, and it's a sewn bind off. Um, that you use a darning needle or a tapestry needle like this to work the bind off instead of using needles. So let's show you how we do it. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to knit all of the knit stitches and then we're going to purl the we're going to slip the purl stitches with the yarn in front. Okay. And we're going to do this for two rows. Okay, once you've knit your prep rows, what we're going to do is take our tapestry needle here and we're going to insert it into the first stitch on our main needle knitwise. And we're going to come all the way through and pull it tight. Now, since I'm using a contrasting color of yarn, it's not attached, so I'm not going to pull it all the way tight. But if we were using our normal working yarn then that's what we would do. Okay and we're going to pull that right off of the needle. All right next we're going to insert our tapestry needle knitwise for step two into the next stitch on our needle which is a purl stitch and we're going to go knitwise and pull that tight as well. Okay, now we're going to pick up this knit stitch here through the front leg of the loop. This is step three. We're going to go purlwise through this stitch and through the second knit stitch on our main needle. And we're going to pull that pretty tight. We're not going to pull it completely tight. If you pull it too tight, it's going to make the whole edge tight, and we want this to be a stretchy bind off edge. So, for step four, we're going to insert our tapestry needle back into the purl stitch, which is the first stitch on our needle, and we're going to go purl wise, and we're going to pull that tight. We want to make sure that our yarn is coming always over the top here. And step five, we're going to slip both the knit purl stitch and the knit stitch off of our needle. Okay, and then just give that a little snug tug. All right, let's do that one more time because what we're going to do is we're going to repeat steps two through five. So we're going to go knit wise into the purl stitch. Then we're going to pick up this knit stitch and you can see it's got a nice little loop there for us to pick up and the other knit stitch purl wise stitch gets tangled up real easily okay and then one more purl wise through the purl stitch And then we're going to pull both of those stitches off of our main needle. Okay, so we're going to repeat steps two through five until we've bound off all of our stitches. All right, when you reach the last stitch on your needles, then you're going to want to um, only do the parts of the sequence that you have left. So here we only have a purl stitch. If we had a knit stitch, then we would do the whole sequence and drop both stitches, but since we're ending with a purl stitch, we're just going to do step two, 
and only go through the knit stitch instead of both the drop knit stitch and the second knit stitch on our row and then we'll go back through our purl stitch purl wise and just tighten it down okay and then we'll just weave in our ends and that's how you do the tubular bind off if you found this video useful click the like button right below the video You'll also be able to share it with your friends on Facebook and on Twitter. And of course, you can always subscribe to our channel right above the video to get all of our latest updates. Want more New Stitch a Day? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com. New Stitch a Day is a Craftery Media production. This video is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution No Derivatives 3.0 Unported License, which means Use it on your website, put it in your patterns, but please don't change anything.